Since the very beginning, the strength within Bad Boy Mowers has always been our people. Our innovation, our quality, our growth, and our success have all been possible because of our people. We had one building, it was 30,000 square feet. Now that building that used to house all of Bad Boy is just our parts department alone. The line itself was only uh, four people. The original team that, that, that did those first mowers is still at Bad Boy today. It's just that great of a place to be in and to work at. Now we have over 800,000 square feet. We have several hundred employees. We didn't really have any idea of color that, to paint this mower. We didn't have a name for this mower. We didn't have a company slogan for this mower. We didn't have anything. All we had was a mower that was built like a tank, a mower that does zero turn, 360s, wheelies. I mean, it has unbelievable power. I mean, it's basically a hot rod mower. Guy gets on there, he's like, hey man, let me drive that mower. Just having a ball on it, and he jumps off that mower, and he said, man, that's a real bad boy. And so for him to jump off and say that about the mower, you know, it kind of stuck. The brand of Bad Boy is something that everyone is proud of. We are building a product in the middle of rural Arkansas that is going nationwide and even going overseas. We're trying to put out the best product, the highest quality, and the reliable uh, mower that we possibly can. We have three or four inspectors for each mower, and they go through their checklist to make sure that that mower has no problems, it's quality checked, uh, it's ready to mow. We do everything that we can ourselves. It goes from the very beginning to the very end. So from the steel that comes in, it gets cut, it gets bent, it gets painted, it gets put on the mower. And from that finished product, it goes on our trucks and our trucks actually take it and deliver it to our dealers. The booth was set up, it had been going on for a few hours, and, and we come walking in that, that first day, and we had like three or four kids come up in these bad boy shirts that we had just thrown together, and come up like, bad boy, I love bad boy, and you know, these are these little bitty kids, and you're like, wait a minute, this, is, this is, may work, this may catch on. And then we get there, and during the show, it becomes uh, the new product of the year, the International Lawn and Garden Show, come out in all these magazines, we had some TV interviews. You never know until you get the product to market if people are actually going to buy into our product, buy into the lifestyle of our product, and buy into your beliefs and your philosophies. And they did, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. That's what it is to us. I mean, it, it's, it is our life. We really pride ourselves on the quality of it. We really pride ourselves on how people feel about our mower. I mean, we had Somebody called in the other day, uh, a, a woman, she said, I've got a bone to pick with you guys. And we're like, uh-oh, here we go. And we're like, well, what's, what's going on? She's like, well, ever since my husband bought a bad boy, I've had to park my car outside while he parks his bad boy in the garage. Uh, that's how we feel about our mower. It's about people, about a great product, and just about having fun. You know, when we ship one all the way to Australia, we want those people to feel the impact of what we're trying to do back home. That they take pride in their work. They take pride in the product. They've enjoyed watching us grow as a company, and they all feel a part of it. We pour our heart and souls into this from top to bottom. Everybody here is really working hard and striving hard to build a brand and to build something that transcends time. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's what we set out to do, and we really feel like that we are doing that. I've actually had the privilege of working with a lot of celebrities over the last few years. It's one of the number one things that I found with these guys, uh, like your Willie Nelsons and your Merle Haggards and your Toby Keith and Zach Browns and a multitude of other people we've had the privilege of working with, is overall they really like our mower, but they really like the fact that we're built here in America. And I think we've proven from the beginning and, and still to this day that we can continue to be an extremely profitable company right here in America. We really believe that as long as we can continue to build a great quality machine at a great price and continue to offer the best customer service out there, that our future has never looked brighter. Bad boy!